Okay, will the US host a Rugby Union World Cup? Now, they've got the Football World Cup for a second time in eight years' time. They will be hosting a joint tournament with Mexico and Canada uh, after the Qatar World Cup in 2028. They have that tournament, so they, FIFA have gone back to the US. World Rugby, the old former IRB, cannot ignore, A, the fact they've just beaten Scotland uh, in a competitive test match, a Tier 1 nation, and they came from behind to do it. They cannot ignore the fact they've also been instrumental in setting up Major League Rugby uh, in the States, and that's growing. And, and, and they regularly qualify for World Cups themselves. They don't do much at the World Cup, but they regularly qualify. And the qualification process means they have to play a lot of test matches. Also, a little side bit, their test record this year is, is far better than England's. They, they've won more tests. Um, because they've had to play the America's Rugby Championship, which is the North and South American version of the Six Nations, without Argentina as a full Argentina side. You've got the US, Canada, Uruguay, Brazil and Chile. There's five nations um, and an Argentina 15, which is basically their, their, their version of England Saxons. Um, they've had to, they've won that. Uruguay came second, but they won that tournament. So they've got to play competitive internationals uh, against tier two rivals, so their own level of rugby. Um, they're dominating their nearest rivals, which are the Canadians, who for years were dominating them in the head-to-head -head clashes. They were normally victorious. They've swapped the tables on a near rival and improved. They're climbing the world rankings. Um, they're, they're growing the professional game in the US. It would be mad not to go there for two reasons. One, they don't have to build the stadiums. The infrastructure is already in place for the sporting side of things. And two, that means they're going to make a lot of profits for both world rugby and rugby union itself, the sport itself in the US. They got 100,000 people to watch the All Blacks versus Ireland at Soldier Field in Chicago. So it's there is there is a market there they could, if properly marketed, sell to. It is an untapped, underutilised rugby market. Um, I, do, I do think with the fact... Japan, this is how Japan got their World Cup, is because of how they performed um, in recent years, their, their improvement, the fact they beat Wales... The fact they beat South Africa in a World Cup, they beat Wales uh, not long before that World Cup. That's how Japan got their World Cup, was they were starting to beat Tier 1 nations and now sort of technically become a Tier 1 nation with the funding they have and the fact they've got a World Cup. And Japan is not a traditional market, if you think about it, really. But they've now got a very, very strong local professional league in Japan. And they've got a super rugby franchise out of it as well. So the Japanese game is growing. I think the US is the next non-traditional place they go for a World Cup. Um, they are some, there are some big cities and some big stadiums. Uh, traditionally, football, or soccer if you want to call it that, they normally have the bigger stadiums when it comes to sport. You look at the Azteca in Mexico. Uh, used to seat like 100 plus thousand. Same with the Maracanã in Rio, used to seat 100 plus thousand. Obviously, with the changing of seating rules and regs and FIFA standards, they have reduced capacity somewhat in those two stadiums. But if you think about it, still 80,000 odd in a, in a football stadium. You imagine playing a rugby union final at Soldier Field or, I don't know, Los Angeles, LA Galaxy Stadium. Those are big stadiums themselves. Imagine having a rugby union international where we've already seen it at Soldier Field. Imagine having a rugby World Cup final. 100,000 people. It's plausible. That would be a great advert for the game. And I think the Americans would buy into rugby union because it is a physical contact sport and Americans love physical contact sports. That's why in North America as a whole, they like the NHL, the ice hockey. They like American football, the NFL and the CFL, if you play you. They like those contact hard sports. They've bought into Rugby League as well because um, they keep qualifying for the Rugby League World Cup. And Rugby Union, they've been consistently qualifying and doing well at the American Nations Cup. Formerly, and they have all used to play the Pacific Nations Cup as well. And they've been consistent in both tournaments they've entered. They've helped grow the game um, in, in both tournaments they played. Now they're playing in the American Nations Cup, which is the North and South American version of the Six Nations for Tier 2 Nations. And they've won it. And Uruguay pushing them close. And it's a very good rivalry between North and South. They're the, they're the two best tier two nations in the Americas. Argentina are clearly a step ahead of Uruguay. 
but Uruguay and the US are very, very closely matched, and their matchups are pretty good to watch. And I watched the whole of the American Nations Cup uh, this year, and I was really, really not surprised, but I, I enjoyed the standard. I think it's, it's an improving standard, and I think World Rugby would be amiss not to try and have discussions with the American Federation about a bit and saying that we would happily give you a World Cup. I think it'd be mad for both the US uh, Federation and World Rugby not to go down this path and have discussions. But what do you think? Do you think they deserve a World Cup? I think beating Scotland, I think, is a step in the right direction. I think winning the American Nations Cup is a step in the right direction. And I think growing Major League Rugby, as in the league, out there, they have the professional game out there, is a step in the right direction. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if the English Premiership and the Pro 14 take more games to North America, primarily Boston and New York, it seems, but they're taking games over there. I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to do that as well and continue to try and forge relationships and grow the fan bases in uh, North America and the US. So I think it is going to happen at some point. I think it will happen within the next... 12, 13, 14 years, I do think it will happen. I think it will happen after France. I think it will be in nine years' time. That'll be a US World Cup, but we shall have to wait and see. But anyway, we'll leave that there. Place your thoughts below if you're a rugby union fan. Do you think it's going to happen, or do you think um, the World Cup will go back to South Africa, New Zealand, Argentina, somewhere in the Southern Hemisphere after France, or do you think it will go to the US? It'll be interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your thoughts below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.